Welcome back to Ark with the Rude Man. And uh, we let, we've taken off where we left off. It was getting dark. It is now dark. I um, actually, I started a fire and I put the rest of our meat in there. What was that? I think I saw a falling star. Uh, I put the rest of our meat in there so we, because we're kind of out of food. So um, I've got our raw meat in there. It is cooking, but we need to keep. Well, we need raw meat for the bird, because the bird eats raw meat. And I don't want it to starve to death. So, um, I'm just going to show you something, too. If you if you hit the tab key, it opens up a console. See, down below, you've got a console where you can type. If, you, if at night you type in gamma, say, space, 4, it lightens it up so you can see. So you can see at night. Uh, if you want and then when oh, there's a trilobite. I want that. I want a trilobite Come here sucker That's right. Take it. Take it. I Can dish it off. Don't you run into the water. There you go. Let's get our hatchet here. Oh I wonder if I can get that All right, so we got him Uh is it getting light? I think it's getting light. Once it gets light, I can turn the gamma off. I'll show you how to do that. Let me go and see. Oh, it's not down yet. Shoot. It's not down yet. All right, we're gonna we're gonna capture some more animals, and I wanna in this episode I want to um, gather a lot of wood and stone and whatever I can gather because uh, I want to start building uh, a wood home. So it's starting to get light a little bit, I think. Eh, maybe I'll give it a little bit more time. Let's wait for that to come down. In the meantime, let's make sure we're not, we're not going to get chomped on by something. We need some meat. Let's get this guy. All right. Okay, now... I don't like going around killing things willy-nilly, so, but you gotta eat, and, you know, a lot of these guys are peaceful. That was just kind of an easy kill. We're gonna, we're gonna kill this guy. There's plenty of bad things we can kill. All right, let's see if we can get this loot crate here. What do we have? Oh, we got all kinds of stuff that we're currently using. So let's take that. We've got some wood items here. We're going to take everything. And then it looks like the sun's up now. So here's what you do. You go tab again. You type in gamma and nothing else. And it'll put the gamma back where it was. So there you go. Let's get these two things here. Wait a minute. I'm over encumbered. I better not. I can barely walk, so I'm not going to be able to swim here. Let's get back while we can. Look at my hair growing. I'm not going to be bald any longer. You got to watch, too, because uh, every once in a while there's bad things in the water, like manta rays and sharks and things that'll get you. Piranha, mostly. They mostly come out at night, mostly. Yeah, I'm over encumbered. Now look at the right. You'll see uh, right above my experience bar when I go under the water, a little um, air bottle comes up. It tells me that I'm using air, air underwater. And if it gets low, you're going to drown. All right, let's put this spear away. Let's get rid of this junk I'm carrying. I hate those birds. On our server, we didn't have a bunch of birds. We had a couple of them, but they're all over on this one. Right, let's go in. I'll show you what I've done. I created another box over here, a storage box, and I'm putting all these kind of supplies, the things I use for everything, I'm putting in here. And then we've got these wood things. Oh, that's a blueprint to make a wooden billboard. Why? I don't know. 
why would you want a wooden billboard but there you go I'm gonna go ahead and put the chitin in there we got 33 chitin now from that uh, trilobite and also we got some silica pearls and some oil they have oil silica pearls and chitin on them and we can use all of those things for crafting in the meantime though let's go put our narcotics away for now we're gonna use those narcotics pretty soon um, we got that from the crate too so let's get this metal and put it over oh let's take this stuff I already had chitin and such get that oil uh, let's get the rotten meat alright okay let's put the rotten meat in here because we're gonna need more uh, oh we have cooked meat we have cooked fish oh sweet I didn't know that okay let's take this no we'll leave that never mind never mind we need to craft some of this stuff pretty soon but uh, priorities here priorities let's put this stuff in over here that we need to do something with but I don't have a refrigerator well it's not really a refrigerator the first thing you build is not a refrigerator let's put this junk in here for now in actuality let's use that right there we're gonna use that and put this thing away let's use that and you notice how we keep having to jump into our house here let's use that uh, we're gonna place it right right there that'll help us get in and out of the house easier sweet huh whoop missed the door bang my head oh, I did it again where's the damn door there it is all right let's get this fire put out conserve on uh, on wood we got a little bit of meat left we got some cooked meat let's take the cooked meat leave this stuff in there for now but let's get this raw meat and we need to get raw meat over to uh, Timmy because Timmy eats raw meat and I don't think he has any if he does it ain't much so he had one piece left so let's give him some meat to eat that'll keep him uh, eventually when I level up I'll be able to learn to make a um, uh, food trough and that'll be cool but we're not there yet so okay let's see what's on the priority list I need to start chopping all kinds of wood and stone and thatch and stuff like that because we need to build I wanna I wanna change this into a wooden structure and maybe expand on it make the house a little bit bigger maybe make ourselves a bedroom you never know all kind of stuff now wait a minute I want to find out I, I've got 16 engrams so oh just before I come on I leveled up again but let's see what we can make we're now level 16 or were we 16 I can't recall I'll have to go back and watch the other episode I guess I can't remember 15 gunpowder 16 we can learn to make a gravestone that might come in handy you never know uh, we got a trike sack a sack saddle we we did do this I remember doing this let's learn that we'll learn that um, I don't know if I need a trike sank a trike saddle right now it takes 12 ingrams which I don't have uh, let's see there was something that I skipped there was something that I oh I wanted to get that bow and I screwed up and just bought that other silly thing oh well we gotta level up we're gonna have to level up okay let's see here let's go down and uh, you know what I need some meat I shouldn't give Timmy all that meat I'm not thinking ahead here I'm indecisive oh Timmy's got a level up what can you learn Timmy Timmy okay first of all with Timmy we're gonna be using him to fly around eventually when we get a saddle 
So right away, I don't need melee damage at the moment. I'm not going to be fighting with him. I want him to be able to carry me and carry some of my goods. So we're going to go with carry weight. And then we need to go some stamina. And then I'm going to go another carry weight. And then eventually we'll give him some health and st stuff like that. But in the meantime, I want to steal some of his meat. Let me just take half of it there. And we'll give it back to him. We'll get you some more meat, Timmy. I'm not going to be gone long. Alright, so let's go and see what we've got for animals here. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I need to make another club because uh, if you look at my bar down there, the club is in four, and you notice that the club is almost, is damaged, almost uh, gone. So I don't want to get to an animal, start beating him, and have my club break. So let's let's get another club going here. Oh, I put all my wood and stuff in the other. I put all my wood in, the, in there. Let's see about repairing the club. Maybe I can repair it. Uh, what do I need to repair it? I need fiber and wood, which is over here. Let's grab that and some fiber. And we are going to repair our club. Cool. Put that stuff back away. You guys might be wondering what this gun here is. I'll show you. It's part of a mod, actually. Let's put it in 9. I'll show you what it is. If you have something that you've uh, built and you put it in the wrong location or whatever, um, and I have a mod that lets me build, well, that lets me craft things. Let's, let me show you. If I craft this wall right here, or this wall. They're identical, except for one of them is part of a mod. This one that says Angram's Angram S Plus Thatch Wall. The S Plus is a mod, and it's a simple wall made of bundled sta uh, sticks and stabilized by a wooden frame. Fairly fragile, better than nothing. Okay, it's the same as that one, except for with the S, you can do a few more things with it. Um, Part of the S mod that I'm using, the S plus mod, uh, is that gun I showed you. Now that gun is a, is a destruction gun. Um, you'll see that it's got a little, um, uh, what looks like an atom bomb or something on it. So see this piece that I placed by mistake? Since that's an S plus thatch, I can take that. If that was a regular wall, and I took it, it would destroy it. But since it's an S plus, I can use this gun. And if you hit the, here, look at this gun. It looks like a normal gun. If I hit the right mouse button, it changes it to a red gun. The red gun means if I shoot that, I'm going to destroy it. If I go back to the regular gun, that means I'm going to store it. So there, I just, I just stored it. Now, when you destroy something, you don't you lose the built piece, but you keep some of the um, pieces that made it, like the thatch and the wood. So you do get resources back when you destroy something. All right. So now, if I go in my inventory, you'll see that I've got that ceiling piece. Sweet, huh? Yeah. All right. Now let me put my club back where it belongs. And. Let's go. I'm looking for a particular thing. And we'll see if we can find it. And I may be getting... Uh, I may be taking on more than I can chew. But let's, let's run up here a minute. See if there's any animals up here. You gotta be careful when you run. You use stamina. You use water. You, you use food. And um, as I told you before, you want to keep your stamina up in case you really do have to run from something that's trying to eat you. If I run up the beach, 
run into something and used up all my stamina, I'm pretty much food. Which I'm pretty much food anywhere. Anyway. Alright, I see something up on the hill that I don't want to deal with. Oh, wait a minute. That might just be compies. I hate those little boogers. I really do. Alright, I don't see what I'm looking for. Of course, you don't see them till they attack you. Kind of like the IRS. You never see them coming till they take everything. Alright. That's a little cynical, isn't it? Of course it is. That's a nasty little sucker over there, I'll tell you. If that's a Trudon, which I think it is, that little thing that's swimming around like crazy, if that's a Trudon, I hate those. You can see them at night because their eyes glow. Okay, now that guy right there is, is passive, so I'm not worried about him. He makes a lot of noise, but he's passive. Go away, bird. Okay, I'm not seeing what I want. He's scary only because of the noise he makes. You think something's attacking you. We're, we're going to get one of these guys one day. I've never gotten a turtle. I've never found much use for them because they're, they're so dang slow. All right, what is that? Is that another one? Uh, I don't want the club. Is that one of them little stealing suckers? Alright, that's not what I want. Yeah, he, he, they're they're passive. That thing there, they just make an awful noise. Okay, so I didn't find what I find what I wanted. There's another one. There's two of them. I wonder if they're mates. Yeah, God, I wonder. All right, I'm not finding. What is that? I don't like that. That is. Come here, you compy. I hate those things. Nasty little boogers. They're always in a pack, too, so there's got to be more of them around here. There he comes. Here he comes. Take that, you compy. Where's your friends? There's another one. I'm surprised there's only three. All right, carry on. I'm not finding what I'm looking for. Man, it's bright out, isn't it? Maybe I changed my gamma too much. Or maybe it's just that bright. Alright, let's carry on. Um, I don't want to take my animals with me when I'm hunting. Because I'm not really uh, hunting for, uh, for food right now. I'm hunting to tame something. And... Uh, I don't want them getting hurt for no reason. Let's see, I think my water skin, this problem with, you know I made a water skin. But the problem with the water skins is they leak. Eventually we'll be able to make a canteen that'll hold water. But these things leak. So, it's funny. You'll go into the water to fill the, can, the uh, water skin and uh, you'll drink while you're there. And then so you're not thirsty. So by the time you are thirsty, the water skin's empty again. So very seldom do I get to use the water skin. Take that, Trillibite. And thank you for what you have to give. Dodo's your best friend. Let's get some water. And let's see if we can fill the water skin up. Water skin is full, but it won't last long. And let's eat a little bit of food. We're down on food. It takes about five or six chunks of cooked meat to fill your stomach up. These guys, if you need food and hide, they're the ones to get. They're easy to kill, and they have lots of hide and meat.
Oh. I wonder if we can get this. I don't really want to overburden myself, but a blue one, that might have something in, in it that's useful. If I'm lucky, it's got a, a saddle that I can use. Or at least a blueprint. If you get a blueprint for something, that means you can make it even though you, you're not high enough level to have learned it yet. Okay, requires survival 25. I can't get it. I'm not leveled up enough. Man, that's bright. So, was that me? Huh. I didn't bring any rubber bags. Plastic bags. Pick up my poo poo. Now, I swear that if I wasn't looking, there's another compy. I swear, if I wasn't looking for this beast, they'd be all over me like you wouldn't believe. Hey, I leveled up. Hey, let's see what we learned. Cool. All right, one. Let's see. I got 140, 120. I can carry 110 weight. Uh, melee is 125. Um, let's see. I got six fortitude. Let's let's do health. We haven't done health for a while. Do some health. But we're level 17. Let's go down and see what we we now can learn how to do. 17. Okay, we can do irrigation pipes. Uh, we can learn to do a water reservoir. Uh, and that's all That's all good. That's all good. But I missed something earlier that I really want. And that is the bow. I need the bow. So we need to learn that. Because we've got bows and arrows now. And that's going to be uh, handy. Indeed, that's going to be handy. So I don't think I have the wherewithal to craft one right now. Let's see what it takes to craft a bow. I do have some arrows, I think. To craft a bow, I need fiber and wood. That'd be easy to get. That'd be easy to get. Let's uh, let's scavenge a little bit, huh? Nothing else to do, huh? I'm not finding my animal I want. I'm not saying what it is till I find it. I will say this: if you're not looking for them, they sneak up on you, and, and uh, they're not good to you. All right, let's get some fiber here. Give me fiber. Give me all your fiber. All right, see if we can make a bow. Can we make a bow? Yes, we can. Craft that booger right there. Whee -hee! We're gonna have a bow. All right, now how, what do we need for arrows? We need uh, we need flint, thatch, what? We need thin, uh, th uh, wood, flint, and thatch. So thatch we're gonna get with the pick on the wood. So unlike uh, what? Unlike picking your nose and getting boogers, if we use a pick on wood, we get thatch. But we also need wood, so let's switch over to the axe or hatchet. It's a hatchet, and we'll get a little bit of wood. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What? What? What do I have? What do I have? Uh, oh gosh, I don't want to get rid of anything. Um, man, I don't want to get rid of anything. Darn it. Okay, I'll tell you what. I can't move. I can't move. I've got to drop something. I just do. 
because I can't move. And then I'm going to head back home because I think I've got arrows there. And I want to empty this out because if I do run into what I'm looking for, I don't want to be over encumbered. So let's see. What, do, what can I lose that I really, really... I don't need that. I'm going to drop it. And then um, what else can I drop? Did that, that didn't do it. That didn't do it. Wood is easy to get. Um, let's let's split this in half and drop half of it. There we go. Okay, I can move again. And then let's get that out of here. We're gonna get that out of here. I'm still over encumbered, but at least I can move now. And you're probably thinking, why didn't you bring one of the animals to help you out? Well because I don't want to lose them right now. They're low level. Uh, they don't have... I haven't leveled up their fighting skills or anything like that. And I don't want to risk losing them. Uh, just so I can carry a little bit more. Now I do have another mod on here. It lets me make a pack. Now wait a minute. I Maybe not. Maybe the pack... Well, I can't recall if you can make a pack or not because I've always had the mod. But eventually I'll be able to, to learn how to make a small, a medium, or a large backpack. And that will allow me to carry a lot more uh, uh, goodies. I was going to say stuff, but I guess stuff works as well as goodies. Alright, ain't nothing behind me. I'm going to sprint. You wait. It's up ahead. Going to jump out of the bushes at me. All right, we're almost home. Hi, guys. Miss me? All right, let's get rid of the stuff we're packing. Let's put the chitin away, the pearls, the hide, the wood, the thatch. Why I'm carrying the berries, I don't know. Let's get no, not those. Let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, I'm full. No wonder it wouldn't take any more. I'm shoving stuff over there and nothing's happening. Okay, so let's see. We need the flint. And we need the thatch. And we need the wood. Wasn't that right? Or did I say thatch? I meant fiber. <coughs> Alright, now I want to I wanna craft some arrows. So, oh, it wasn't thatch. Or it was thatch. It was it was that thatch. It wasn't wood, is what it wasn't. What you don't you need wood to make arrows? That's crazy. All right, so we have thatch, that and no. I keep calling that thatch. That's fiber. I need fiber, flint, and thatch. And am I confused or what? Yes, I am. All right, we're gonna craft uh, all of those. Wow, cool beans, man. Alrighty then. And then eventually, we'll be able to take our narcotics and do a, um, um, a trank arrow. I don't know what level, though. Let's see. We learned arrow at level 10. And I don't have Trank Arrow yet at level 17. Or at least I didn't see it. 16, 17. There's a fishing pole. I've never used a fishing pole. Um, look for there. There's the Trank Arrow, level 21. All right, so level 21 will learn the Trank Arrow. But in the meantime, we got bow and arrow now. Let's uh, let's continue emptying out. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that. I am gonna need this. And let's put that away. Let's put these berries, not those berries, these berries, 
those berries. We'll keep the stem with this. Let's put this stuff back. We'll keep the arrows. All right. Let's take let's take the black berries that we had, the narcotics. Put them in here, and let's put the um, let's put the thatch and the fiber back for later use and then let's head back out with my door there it is I'm gonna head back out I don't know I'm not having very good luck here finding what I'm looking for this might be a bust here oh look there's another flying thing like Timmy over there Hmm. Oh, jeez. Let's run up the hill here. There's usually a lot of animals up this hill. I know there is on that plane. Oh, what's that? Uh, hang on. That might be. Okay, that's what I'm looking for right there. Let's go see if we can get one before he gets us. Here, Dillo. Come here, Dillo. Oh, he got me. He got me, but I got him. I got him. Let's get our club out. Take that, sucker. Club to the head, buddy. Okay, he's out. Oh, did I kill him? No, I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. Okay, put the club away. I thought I hit him one too many times. It's a female. No, don't do that. Access the inventory. Give him some of that uh, drugs. Let's give him. Let's 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 give him uh, some stem berries first. Here, eat some stem berries. Here, eat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then eat that. Okay, let's give him some meat. And uh, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I need to get uh, I need to get him to eat some narcotics. Okay, he's unconscious for a while. Wow, he's almost tamed. How is that happening so fast? Well, it didn't happen fast on uh, on the flying animal, did it? Okay, now now that you know what I was looking for, these are nasty guys. I almost got him before he got me. Whoa, there he is. All right, we're going to name this thing. It's a female. We're going to name it Pam. All right, sweet. Now he will no longer target me. Uh, we'll let him keep the meat he's got, but uh, let's take the narco narcotics and let's get this guy down. What I like to use this guy for... Oh, I'm freezing cold. What's going on? I need to make some hide clothing. Okay, so Pam is level 13 already. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, what? this is an interesting animal because you cannot ride it. What I use them for are hunting dogs. So I'm going to be looking for another one. I'm going to be looking for another one because I like to hunt with at least two of them. And then eventually we'll get a raptor. And I usually go out with a raptor that I can ride. Like, let's say this is a raptor. I can ride the raptor, have these guys follow behind me. All three are fighters. And so I can hunt. But I need to level them up. Level 13 is still kind of low. So I'll be looking for another one of these. But in the meantime, here's what you can do with them. Um... Let me get to their behavior. I want to disable following. I don't want him following me or her following me right now. So let's disable that. But let's go back into inventory. And you can go into uh, like harvesting. You can set how they harvest. So I can go out and I can sick them on something. They will, they will kill it and eat it. And they'll pack the goods for me. So they'll keep the meat and the hide and everything until we get home if you set the the behavior correctly on options let's see we got options we can change the name we can spay it which I'm not gonna do 
Uh, we can unclaim it if we want to give it to another tribe's member, which I'm the only one on this game, so I'm playing a single player. Let's go back. Let's go to behavior. And now you can do a stance where you can tell them to be, you can tell them to be neutral, you can tell them to be aggressive, you can tell them to be passive, or you can say just attack anything that I attack, or if I, or if if I'm attacked. Now, that also works with neutral. With neutral, they they won't go out and instigate anything. They'll just be neutral unless something attacks them or me so that's a good one to have if you're at your house like this and you don't want them you know picking a fight with anything that walks by if you put them on passive a raptor could come in 10 times their level and they'll start a fight with it so you don't want to do that you want to either keep it at neutral or or uh, I'm sorry uh, did I say passive I meant aggressive if you have them on aggressive they'll attack anything if you put them on passive, they'll just stand there and let something kill them. I mean, you know, it's just, that's not good. Um, passive is good if you've got an animal with you. Like if I took this one hunting and I wanted to tame another one, I would put this one on passive so that they don't attack what I'm trying to tame. Because if they're on neutral or aggressive, they'll try to kill whatever it is. So anyway, uh, right now I'm going to put them on, on uh, well, actually what I'm going to do is uh, let's put her on neutral and then also um, let's see options behavior okay so behavior we can actually change them let's see um, range back order and then turret mode if I put this thing on turret mode this thing becomes a machine gun if if something comes into our camp that doesn't belong here, they'll start spitting at it. Now, them spitting makes them a a, a ranged weapon. Where uh, this guy here, he's not, he doesn't have any range. He can't spit. He can't do anything. Uh, but he can fight, although he's not really a fighter. So if you have an animal that can spit or can throw poison or something like that they can become a turret and anything that comes in they'll start spitting at it like a machine gun so cool huh let's get Toby leveled up here we're gonna let level Toby up to haul a little bit more weight I think no he's already up there let's give him some health we've been skipping his health wow his health is pretty low let's let's give him a couple of health now nah, we're gonna give him another one too he's, he's got to catch up on the health He's level nine now. Let's go see. Oh, by the way, if I'm over here doing something like crafting and uh, I'm gaining experience from it, so are they. So, especially if you're riding one of them. If you're riding one of these and getting experience, they get they get as much as you, they get experience too. So, all right, Toby's up too. Hey, Toby, what's happening, man? We're going to give Toby um, some stamina. There you go, Toby. You go, girl. You go. All right, he's not a girl. He doesn't like being called a girl. He's mad at me now. Okay, so let's see. Um, where are we at? What are we doing? Ooh, look at my hair flow. Um, okay, so we got Pam. I'm going to be looking for another one. But in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is start uh, crafting some wood stuff we did get some wood stuff out of that chest let's see what it was okay we got a sign a billboard we got a uh, blueprint for a billboard we got a fence post that's no good we got a wooden pillar structure that all that is crap I don't need any of that uh, so I tell you what we're gonna do let's see what it takes to craft um, let's put some of this stuff over here and we'll start working on our our home now that we are done hunting let's take this stuff put it over we don't need that we don't need that anymore we can't take it it's full okay let's see what we can make here we can make uh, that stuff 
Oh, come on. Did I not learn how to make... I didn't learn how to make wood stuff? Oh, boy. Well, I need to do that. I thought I did. Maybe I just said I could. Yeah, that's what I did. I said I could. I think I can. I think I can. First of all, we need to have a wooden foundation. So we're going to do that. We're going to take six of our ten, learn to do a foundation, and we're going to learn to do an S foundation. And then uh, from there, we'll need walls. And I do have four left. I don't have enough to do walls. I can do a wooden door, though. So let's go ahead and learn how to make the wooden door, I guess. I can't. Why not? Why can't I learn how to make the wooden door? What? I can't make I can't make a wooden door? Huh. Says I have four left. Um Well I guess we're done with that. I can't make a wooden door. Well we can do some foundations, so let's start with that. And who knows? By doing the foundations we may level up, so let's see we've got some wood uh, there's the foundation we want the S one and we can make eight of them we don't need eight uh, do we need eight let's see we've got two that way and uh, well let's just make six for now I don't want to I don't want to use all my resources on something if I don't need it let's do six we're going to do six of those. And we're leveling up as we do that. By golly, we're about to level. There we went. We got a level. Alright. One more to craft. Okay, what should we level up? Let's level up um, weight. Uh, we've got uh, fortitude up to six. I've been doing a lot of fortitude. We can do crafting skills up. We can do movement speed or melee uh, weight. Now, eventually, I am going to do crafting skills. But to start off with, I want to be able to fight and carry things. So... Uh, that's already 125. Let's do some weight. It's only... Now, wait a minute. It says 119, 110. I'm, I'm 110 of 119. Let's do, let's do weight. All right, now, let's show you how we're going to do this foundation. So, we can do... Uh, you can place it by right-clicking and saying place. Or you can take it and put it into a um, hot bar and then just hit the number five. Five is alive. And uh, was that five? That wasn't five. There's five. Now we should be able to. There it is. You can faintly see the green on the old. Let me turn it off. Okay, see the green? Did you see the green in the thatch? Okay, that's where the foundation will go. So you don't have to destroy the old foundation. You can just build over it. And and it'll take care of it right there. So now, we did get some stuff out of that destruction. We got some resources back. So let's keep doing this. We're going to do uh, that one. We're going to do that one. We're going to do that one. Now I'm blind. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Let's do that one and that one. So we have our new wood foundation in. And um, let's go in. We leveled up. Let's go in to level up. And let's do... We did weight last time. We did uh, our stamina. Let's do some stamina. Okay, so now we're level 19. Let's go down and see what we can do. In level 18, we learned how to do a lesser antidote, a raptor saddle. Oh, look, a preserving bin. We need that. We do need that. What else do we have? A hyena don meat pack. 
we can learn how to make the uh, large bookshelf. Now the bookshelf is where when you uh, learn um, uh, blueprints, you can keep them in there. Look, we can do a feeding trough, which we need too. Oh man, we're not going to have enough to do everything. We don't have enough to do everything. What did we miss back here? We need a trike saddle. Um, we're getting close to be able to learn how to make trank darts. Now, once we make a trank dart, uh, we can now get animals that are too big for us to use the bolo to take down. Uh, a trike is too big. A bolo won't work on it. So you're going to have to trank it uh, with an arrow to get it down. But uh, right now, I'm going to decide... Uh, what to do with my points it's priorities here priorities so in the meantime uh, it's time to end the episode so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here we need a taller building I'm gonna end the episode here hope you had fun uh, if you did give it a like share it with a friend subscribe if you haven't I'll see you back on Ark in the next episode until then have fun gaming